Hey booktube, it's Greg from Coffee Slash Books. I just wanted to film a quick video um, because I've been a little MIA and I can explain why. Um, and I've been feeling guilty that I haven't uploaded anything and I haven't really been commenting on your videos like I like to. So hopefully tonight I will get up a video and then maybe another one later. Anyway, um, the reason why I've been MIA is due to work. Uh, for those of you who want to know or already know, um, I work on a diplomatic mission, and if you paid attention to the news over the past few weeks between certain countries, I won't say who, there has been diplomatic drama. Um, basically, I got called to duty in a different way than normal, which is a long, interesting story, um, and it's been chaotic, so it's finally quieted down uh, between yesterday and today after last week, so I'm like, oh, okay, I can do some booktube stuff, and kind of slow things down a little bit. So, um, that being said, I just want to give you a quick update of things that I've recently read and what I'm currently reading, um, and maybe some plans for the future. So, uh, there's two books that I finished reading probably in the past month since I've done a video last, um, and they were from my book haul that when I went to the States in February. So the first one is Educated, a Memoir by Tara Westover, and I could not love this book more. Um, this I rec this is like a five-star book in my opinion. I recommend it to anyone. Um, and it's funny because I literally just picked it up at Target. It was like 30% off and it was on display. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll just get it. So it turned out to be a good choice. Um, I did a little synopsis before I read it, so I just want to go back and talk about it. So it's, it's a real story um, about a woman named Tara Westover. And she was born into a rural family in Idaho, in the mountains, Mormon. And her father was kind of obsessed with living off the grid, thinking that the government was against everyone, and basically they should live off the grid. And she had a, a couple siblings, and a lot of them didn't even have birth certificates because they were born at home with a midwife. Um, she never went to school. Uh, she first set foot in a classroom freshman year of college at Brigham Young University. That was the first time she ever attended school because she was homeschooled. Um, so it goes through basically her childhood all the way up to her getting her um, PhD, I think at Cambridge. Um, so it's a really interesting story about perseverance and what someone goes through to get to where they are today, which I always love those kind of stories. Um, one thing I really like about it is that she references things in comments, um, footnotes, that's the word for it. Um, so sometimes if she doesn't think she's remembering something correctly or she had to consult someone or she got different uh, facts of her memories mixed up, she actually like notates that, which is really interesting because in a lot of memoirs that you read, you're like, how do these people remember these things all this time? Um, and then be able to write a book about it, you know, 10, 20 years later. So I just like that she she kind of peppered up the story with, um, you know, after I recalled this, I called my brother and or I checked my diary from that year, and it turns out that maybe I was remembering this part a little bit wrong. Um, most of the stuff was pretty spot on. So really interesting story. Also interesting story between, it's not so much focused on religion. It's more of um, what religion brought out in the personality of her parents and how it affected her life. So, um, it's also about the relationship with her family and her parents. Um, you know, there's, there's points in the book where I'm like, oh my God, why are you still so nice to your parents that, that you're, they were in a, they treated you terribly. And there's a point where she's doing postdoctoral or doctoral work at Harvard and they're coming and visiting her and sleeping on her dorm room floor and still trying to convince her to come home and give up everything. So it's a really interesting story. I actually wanted to call out of work one day to finish reading it, because that's how good it was. I stayed up all night reading it, so I highly recommend Educated by Tara Westover. Also read The Idiot by Elif Batuman. I said before I read her book years ago, The Possessed, Adventures, Adventures of People Who Read Russian Books or something like that, and this is a great story. I don't recommend it if you did not study... Eastern Europe, anything in college, it'll bring back a lot of memories um, for people who were in this niche, or small clique of people. Um, it also takes place in the 90s, which is really cool. It's about a college freshman who goes to Harvard, 
and her experience with her um, Russian linguistics classes and how she kind of falls into a line of like quirky friends um, and she becomes obsessed with this one Hungarian guy who they never end up doing anything, spoiler alert, and it's really disappointing. She's kind of immature, which when you're 18, I guess that's normal. Um, but it was frustrating a lot of the time, like, oh, just, you know, her personality was just not that great. Um, but th there's a lot of funny things in the story, too. So I actually cracked out laughing a couple times. So it's interesting. If you read her other book, I recommend it. Um, if you're not into being one of those quirky kids, just skip it. I think Simon from Savage Reads, I saw on Instagram that he talked about this. Um... And we talked about how you kind of have to be in that world to maybe appreciate it, because I don't think he even finished reading it. So that just kind of gives you like a like um, preview. Currently reading The Shortest History of Europe by John Hurst. Apparently it's a couple years old. I picked it up when I was in an airport. Ooh, so it's an airport book. Sometimes I'm guilty of just picking up like what the top ten bestsellers are. I think I mentioned that was one of those staff picks. I really like it. Um, it starts with like ancient Greek civilization. I'm about halfway through. It reads very well. So even if you don't love history, the way he writes, it's more of like he's just summarizing things. Of course, there's way more history of Europe than in one book. But um, it's just a nice overview and a lot of stuff I didn't realize or he points out a lot of interesting things to connect. So that's what I'm currently reading. Um, I have a lot on my TBR. Maybe I'll make a video about that. Um, the other issue is I don't know where I'm going to be in two months, <laughs> if I'm leaving or moving or whatever. So I'm kind of just taking it one day at a time right now. Other than that, thank you for watching. The lighting's not too good. Sorry about that. Um, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And see you next time. Bye.